guys, welcome to Cinema Breakdown. Today we are venturing out in the city of Downey, California. And we are on the street of Firestone Boulevard. And we are at Bob's Big Boy. A long time ago it used to be called Harvey's. Then it became Johnny's for a long time, which was like a staple here in Downey. The interior and everything was pretty much destroyed when uh, a guy took over the building when Johnny's went under and he turned it into a used car dealership. Now this guy was pretty shady, had a lot of things that were done to the place. Now a lot of this stuff was built back to make it look like the original structure that was here. I think a lot of it was pretty much torn down. There was like this whole saga of uh, people that um, actually uh, came to save Johnny's broiler but they were a little too late and I can show you some of the photos right now of what happened and you can see the destruction and everything there was a lot of stuff that was still standing stuff that was inside but as you can see it kind of looks like it's old vintage original but technically it's not but the cool thing is, is that a lot of film history was made here. We're talking a lot. We're talking from 80s and 90s. We're talking License to Drive. We're talking The Game. X-Files was filmed here. We're talking um, Can't Hardly Wait from the 90s. There are so many things that were filmed here. Uh, my stepmother is an alien. Uh, let's see, She's Out of Control, that movie with... Uh, was it Tony Danza <laughs> but uh, as you can see it's a Bob's Big Boy now but uh, we're gonna go ahead and walk around the front here there's actually a placard that talks about that it used to be a Johnny's broiler so here's the placard here and it talks about the history and everything about how they uh, basically saved it. See, it says the building was operated as a used car dealership from 2002 until 2007. And it suffered extensive damage when the tenant illegally demolished a large portion of the building. But they basically saved the rest of it. And, you know, a lot of it still looks the same. A lot of this rock work is very, I'm not sure if it's the original part. I wonder if they saved a lot of the stuff that was here. But as you can see, it looks vintage. It looks like it's from the 60s. And that's kind of what they were going for. They were trying to go historically accurate of what Johnny's used to look like and kind of keep it in that same style. You know, if you've seen any Bob's Big Boy, especially like the one in Burbank, it looks just like this, kind of, where it has that vintage -y 60s kind of um, architecture to it. You can see here. Let's see if we can get a good shot. You can see Bob up here doing his thing, rotating. Uh-oh. Yep, you see Bob's. There we go. Now the broiler part, I believe, is part of uh, the original sign. It looks like it is. It could. I, I could be wrong though. I know the whole thing has changed and then Johnny used to actually be up here underneath the sign. Back in the day, they didn't have a drive-through, which they do now. And uh, a lot of things have changed. You know, the neighborhood is actually still the same. And even when I was a little kid, I actually got to see them film License to Drive when they came down here with the two Corys, Corey Haim and Corey Feldman. And I still remember that they had altered the sign. Now does anyone remember what the sign used to be for the movie for License to Drive? If you don't, I'm going to tell you in a second here. So we're going to go back to the front. and. Uh, they changed the signage to Archie's Atomic. Now, they filmed a lot of this stuff in the parking lot. 
well the original parking lot I'm not sure I would imagine a lot of this was paved over but it's still very similar to what it was but yeah they had the huge sign up here that said Archie's Atomic there used to be shades in the front if I remember right if you're like an X-Files fan that David Duchovny and Gillian Anderson actually filmed a episode here from season seven and uh, let's see it was season seven episode seven can't remember the title of the episode right now but I will put it in the uh, video so you guys can see and uh, they doubled this as a bus stop and like a diner from uh, Chicago Illinois and in the episode you could actually see the buses all here looks all vintage and then they all go into the diner investigating a serial killer that had gotten out of jail and I guess he still sore that uh, they busted him so he's still coming after Jillian Anderson because she was saved in an earlier season and this guy wants revenge and uh, they come in to investigate in this diner to find out how he got out of prison and uh, it's kind of an interesting episode I was watching a little bit this morning before I came here but uh, you guys can actually check it out um, yeah it was uh, season 7 episode 7 now on this back side of uh, Bob's big boy aka Johnny's broiler now uh, in the X-Files episode you can actually see this tearing off and you can actually see it go uh, there's a uh, one of the uh, bad guys the serial killer taking off in the car going straight down this way and you can actually see the apartment buildings way way in the back down there and you can see it going straight now back in the day you can actually go out into the street from that end but now there's a car wash back there and uh looks like there's like a car lot or something over there but that used to actually be all part of uh parking lot of johnny's broiler now it's all closed off but you could actually back in the day enter from the street over here and then come through and then come back up this way but uh that's no longer so i think that happened when the used car dealership came in here kind of completely changed the whole lot and then we've got movies from the 90s like jawbreaker starring rose mcgowan that was actually filmed here as well um a lot of this was completely different they've had green shades uh they actually had uh, a lot of the stuff that's inside a lot of the interior inside is still uh, pretty much the same a lot of the green chairs and and the really tight booths uh, to be honest with you so like a big person like myself it's a little hard to uh, get in some of those booths I'm not gonna lie a lot of stuff that was built back then was in the was built smaller but uh, we also have films like the game that which is David Fincher's movie the game that's a great film if you guys haven't seen that starring uh, Michael Douglas and Sean Penn uh, then we've got movies like um, Heat which is a huge classic with Robert De Niro Al Pacino Val Kilmer what kind of let's go back over here with Bob because Bob's a big part of this story he actually helped restore this place and bring it back to its former glory. Now, if you guys haven't eaten here, the food is really good. I love Bob's Big Boy. There actually used to be one here in the city that was, uh, you know, not too far from here. That was an original Bob's Big Boy. And actually, I think it turned into like a Caro's. You can see Firestone. It's actually really busy down the street. It's a huge, major um, street that goes up and down here in uh, the city of Downey. Now, the cool thing is if you actually go down that way as you head towards the freeway you will actually hit a few other filming locations that are down that way uh, one would be um, golf and stuff which is down at the end by the freeway where they filmed uh, the original karate kid and then if you go to the stonewood mall which is about halfway point between here and golf and stuff and about in the middle they filmed the Wonder Years there, and I remember that when I was a kid because back in the day, Stonewood Mall actually used to be an outdoor mall where it wasn't enclosed. And because of that, it was a rare thing because back in the 60s, that's how malls were. They weren't all enclosed. They had these huge open areas in the mall where it was just a bunch of shops 
and so it had that old vibe so that's why they actually came and filmed down here uh, if you guys want to come inside we're going to go and take a look inside maybe order some food not sure yet but let's go take a look okay now we're inside uh bob's big boy and i had to do a voiceover because there's copyrighted music playing overhead and not only that but it, it, you know people are eating they're trying to enjoy their food and here i am trying to vlog inside this place so i decided to try to keep it as low key as possible so i hope you understand now the cool thing is you can actually see the booths in here and you can see the green you can see the the, the brown tables everything looks pretty much how it did back in the day and uh, i'm gonna go ahead and insert a bunch of clips here so you guys can see sort of like a montage of all the different scenes that i found from movies and even a music video so Hope you enjoy it. I get to anything else, Cy? Look, I had to get it on, man. He was making a move. I had to get it on. <laughs> Okay, how cool was that? I mean, seriously, there was like so many different clips. And you can clearly see that a lot of this stuff was filmed there. Now, if you're a huge fan of film like I am, then you'll take it delight in knowing that, you know, this piece of film history is still here. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for supporting the channel. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks. Archies, come back, come back.